Special request for uh, a cousin of mine. Uh, her husband passed away this morning. He's a he was an evangelist. And she's having a real hard time accepting his death. Of course, I don't care how prepared you are. When the time comes, it's hard to accept that. Let's be much in prayer for her and her son that God will comfort them and give them the inner peace that they need this morning. And uh, we'll, we'll be traveling over there. They live in Teleco Plains. We'll be traveling over there either tomorrow after church or maybe Monday morning. And remember us God to give us traveling grace. Amen. But uh, most of all, pray for those, for his wife and their son, that God would comfort them and give them the inner peace that they need. Amen. The way I look at that, instead of using evangelists, God said, you're done. Amen. Amen. There's a quitting place when you're working in God's right. When you're working for God, there's no quitting place. When you retire, they put you in a coffin. Amen. Or in a box. <laughs> but uh, in one No. Uh -huh. 
Amen. Amen.
Sí, mae.
tell you something. I feel raised among all this morning. I'm no great preacher. I just tell you this. I'm no hard-hearted sinner that God seemed fit to save and then he called me into the ministry. I, I run for a long time. I tell you, folks, run from God. I lost two great home and I almost lost my daughter. I'll just tell you, folks, I promise God in Northeast Georgia Hospital parking lot down there, he let her live like priest, but I still didn't do it. Put her through things till it come down to Charlie. I honestly believe if I had yielded that day up there and hollered on to a squid and my face buried in the leaves, I honestly believe God he took me on out. Because the call to ministry is, I understand, is a calling without repentance. Uh, and all that God calls a man, he's going to get his attention one way or another. My brother Dwayne was talking about that. I ain't never found a, a place to retire. I ain't never found that in the Bible. I thought about Paul. Brother Dwayne was telling that about an old preacher I knew. I mean, he was a saint of God. He met anybody out fishing. He loved fish. He talked to us about the Lord and asked him for sale. Last time I ever heard him preach, he was sitting in a wheelchair and he had that old wheelchair rocking folks. No, they they no retiring out of God's word. He calls you home. Uh, you can have the Bible and we'll be turning, turn to Ephesians chapter 6. Uh, we'll try to read a few verses of scripture, bring the message from that. The Lord be in our helper. I'll tell you right now, I ain't got nothing wrote down. If you want the Bible, you can come and get it. Uh, no, I know there's some preachers, they have their message wrote out, and we that ain't God's call way of doing it, folks. Uh, if God's able to call me to preach, He's able to save me, He's able to give me something to say. And he'll give it to you when it's needed if you'll depend on him. Uh, Amen. Uh, morning, uh, uh, but I'm just thankful God seemed fit to save me, folks, this morning. Uh, uh, like I say, this has bothered me a long time about the seventh day, uh, uh, being the Sabbath day. And I've I mentioned it to people before, uh, and they say, no, Sunday's the Sabbath. But, folks, I thought, uh, uh, Brother Dwayne, and I come on over here this morning. God put this on it for my heart. Uh, Oh, well, they've got the Bible here. Why don't they read and study it? Uh, so now, okay, Amen. folks, uh, uh, when the seventh day is, uh, uh, you know, there's been a lot of conflict among preachers and church people uh, and families and all. Let me say this uh, about the second coming of Christ. Uh, but I remember one time, <coughs> I was just a teenager and I got saved. Uh, well, that morning over, that night, well, one preacher preached it one way and I did a preacher preaching another way, and I got confused, and I wouldn't read the Bible like I need to be, I, uh, but uh, uh, I just didn't know what to believe, I, and I thought, well, I, uh, the best thing for me to do uh, is just be saved, I know I'm saved, I, and ready to go, and I wasn't going to change to nobody else. <coughs> Uh, is going to change uh, uh, God's way of doing it. Uh, and one day, folks, I was sitting at the house. I uh, got my Bible up, uh, and I just picked it up and hit open up. Uh, uh, St. John chapter 5, I don't know how anybody here believes. Uh, now I'm just going to tell you what the Bible said, and that's the way I'm going to leave it. Uh, St. John chapter 5, verse 28. Jesus, this is a bridge. Says, Marvel not at this, uh, uh, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves uh, uh, shall do his voice, uh, and shall come forth they that have done good uh, unto the resurrection of life, uh, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Uh, uh, you can take what it says or leave it. Uh, uh. I would just like some of the Baptist preachers uh, or churches. I've raised up one. Uh, uh, they do not believe in the Lord. Uh, uh, but over the book of James, uh, uh, it's God's Word. He's got it in there. Uh, uh, folks, I, I learned the hard way, I guess. Uh, about that, I never took part in it. The church I grew up in, uh, I did not believe in that. Uh, uh, but I say this today. Uh, uh, if they don't want that, the man will take John. 316 out, uh, well, they might as well lay the book aside. Uh, <coughs> but let me carry we uh, Just a little experience about that. Uh, I was going over one morning uh, uh, with my wife, Marcel, was still alive, uh, and I had a Ford Ranger pick up. She had a Thunderbird card. And so I, I said, Well, we're going to go to pick up today. And I was going up the Manahaley River over there, the old river bed. Uh, I 
met a car that crowded me, and I had to take part little shoulder in the woods, and I off to get a ride without hitting it, huh? And I told her I said if I'd have had, huh? I'd have been driving your car and lost it because it was lower on the ground, huh? But she had told me, said, Carl, huh? Uh, this is not the Bible, but I just want to show you. I, I feel like sharing this with you. I, uh, she said, my neck's a chill to me, huh? And she said, I'm really afraid I'm going to have to go to the hospital, huh? Uh, well, we went on up to Fireview Church, I believe it was, where Marlon met my hand, and I uh, was pastor, and I said, me and her sat down on the very back bank. Uh, I met him to uh, live in concrete. Uh, uh, but when it time come to preaching, uh, uh, this old lady up toward the front of the church, she rolled up. I uh, uh, said, Brother Marlon, uh, I'm sick, and I want you to call the elders of the church. Uh, uh, they had no bed and all bed at all. <coughs> Oh, well, uh, that small, still voice. They told me I should go, but I never took part in that. Uh, uh, but anyway, Brother Warren got up and he said, Okay, church, you've heard. Uh, she come to Bible Way. He said, All the elders of the church uh, come forward. Uh, uh, well, I just sat there and I thought I was going to get by. Uh, he said, I ain't talking about the elders of Fairview Church. I'm talking about the elders of the church. And I know I had to go. Uh, I uh, went we up there and we ignored all that woman. That woman laid hands on her and prayed for her. Uh, and I went and sat back down and my wife told me, she said, Carl, you may not believe it. Uh, uh, but that pain left my neck. Uh, uh, boy, you were to pray for that woman. I thought, my goodness, uh, uh, Lord, if I hadn't have went, what would have happened? Uh, God let me know. Uh, uh, that was the right thing to do, folks. And when God showed me something, uh, uh, there ain't no man uh, uh, going to change me from that. Uh, I told the pastor the other day, uh, uh, <coughs> I said, I, they put me down. Uh, uh, for one of the seventh day Baptist, or seventh day uh, uh, worship Sunday, and I said, I've got to obey God, not man. Uh, uh, folks, so I, I'm glad that I, uh, my daughter made the copies of them that I wrote out uh, uh, so you can get the foundation. A lot of people don't know uh, uh, that the Catholics is one that changed that. Uh, and I'll tell you, if you had it, uh, I've not studied it all out yet, uh, uh, but one place I believe you'll find uh, uh, that the Catholics Catholics is called Babylon in one place, uh, uh, because uh, uh, the way they do it, the way they believe. Uh, uh, listen, the old Pope, he claims to be Christ. Uh, and let me tell you something. Uh, I truly believe, folks, according to the word, uh, of studying it. I won't tell you, God got my attention uh, uh, when he made me fall. Uh, he got my attention right quick, and I've been doing some research uh, and all. Uh, uh, but I believe. <coughs> The ones that lives, I, uh, to say the end of time, I, uh, the Pope will be the Antichrist. Uh, uh, you might say, preacher, uh, uh, you can't prove that in the Bible. You get in the book and read and see what they're doing. Uh, I'll tell you this, my daughter's got a copy and it's laying over there. Uh, uh, the White House uh, is almost sent complete. Uh, I mean, almost the same thing uh, as the Pope place over there in Rome. Uh, and another thing, uh, uh, listen, the Bible talks about a man, uh, his number 666. Uh, uh, well, as you show you, uh, over there on the paper, uh, uh, the Roman numerals, uh, the title of the Pope uh, adds up. Uh, uh, to 666. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, this morning, God knows what he's talking about. Uh, uh, Jesus knows what he's talking about. Uh, uh, because him, uh, uh, Christ, I mean Christ, God the Father, uh, and the Holy Ghost, all three uh, compared in one, uh, uh, they are one and the same. Uh, uh, you cannot separate them out. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, uh, we're going to try to get into the Word uh, and depend on God and I desire prior. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, Satan has tried to kill me more times than once, but he ain't never succeeded yet. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, God has got all power uh, over Satan either. Uh, hey, but, uh, uh, listen, I truly believe uh, uh, God puts us to the test sometimes uh, uh, to really see how we'll stand. Uh, uh, let me tell you this before I read the scripture. Uh, uh, not too long ago, uh, uh, 
uh, God come to me in a dream uh, and asked me, said, son, are you going to stand for me? Uh, and I said, yes, Lord, I'll stand. Uh, uh, he said, okay. Uh, he said, you uh, are going to have uh, uh, to start a church uh, or get in a church uh, uh, the worship song uh, uh, the Sabbath day, the seventh day. And I said, yes, Lord. Uh, and I said, Lord, you're going to have to help me. Well, let me tell you this. I, I thought about a church over the town's county. I thought they wouldn't have any church in it. I, I thought, I, now listen, I thought I, well, that'd be the place I'd start up at. I, I found out they didn't have any church. I, uh, well, I, I was up the house some time ago. I, I said, Lord, if you really want me to do it, you're going to have to open the door. It opened that very day. My daughter called and said, Dad said, Brother Dwayne, let me he here for you. I know right then, God is well pleased, folks, with what was happening. Well, let us get into the Word. Uh, over in Ephesians chapter 6, uh, starting with verse 10, uh, I said, Finally, my brother, listen, I may get loud at times, but I can't hit it. I believe we're going to be loud for the Lord. Uh, Amen. It's like the world is loud for them. Uh, uh, folks, it took me to see like too many times. Uh, I pay for the change of God. Uh, if my pastor said it, and I said it, uh, uh, people will go to a ball game and they'll hoop and they'll holler, uh, encouraging our team on. Uh, uh, folks, we need to encourage God's children on. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, we need uh, uh, to spread the gospel. I'll start back verse 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord uh, and in the power of his might. Uh, Put on the whole armor of God uh, uh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, uh, but against principalities, against powers, uh, uh, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, uh, uh, against spiritual weakness in high places. Let me stop right there this minute. Uh, uh, what's happening in Washington, D.C.? Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, folks, it's very wicked up there now. I ain't saying everybody is, uh, uh, but they're a bunch of fire wicked. They're trying to do away with America. Uh, uh, for wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. God, uh, uh, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, uh, and having done all to stand. Uh, uh, stand therefore, having your arms girded about with truth, uh, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, uh, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Uh, above all, taking the shield of faith, uh, uh, for which you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, uh, and take the hammer of salvation, and the Lord of the Spirit, uh, uh, which is the Word of God, uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, uh, and watching down to with all perseverance uh, and supplication for all saints. Uh, if correct to read, uh, uh, that's to read the seven verses of God's Scripture. A lot of times I won't, I won't read, uh, uh, but a verse or two. Uh, uh, but if we had a thought this morning, it'd be like the fire. I uh, uh, said, when you've done all, stand. Uh, and I'll make sure it flies. Uh and preach. That's the way I started out. Uh, uh, let me share this with you. Uh, uh, some told me, said, uh, uh, you need to have your eyes open. Uh, uh, well, I started doing that. Uh, uh, but I've come to the moon, uh, uh, and I better go back. I uh, uh, closed my eyes. So I shut out everything, uh, and it'll come to me a lot better. So I'm be upset uh, if I close my eyes. Uh, I may open sometimes. I might not be looking at you. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, I want to do this this morning. I want to close my eyes. Uh, I don't get around like I used to. Uh, I used to when God get a hold of me, I'd go around and around. Uh, uh, but I can't do that anymore. Uh, uh, same life. If God gets a hold of me just right, I can, yes. Uh, uh, but when you don't all stand, uh, oh, we want to go back. Uh, uh, in the old Bible, uh, <clears throat> some churches, uh, uh, they don't believe in using no Bible, but folks, it's all God's Word. Uh, I can show you in the New Testament uh, uh, where it said he was our schoolmaster, uh, uh, but laying out of sight. Uh, uh, when you've done all stand, uh, I want to talk to you uh, uh, here just for a few minutes uh, about uh, uh, the three Hebrew children over there. Uh, in Egypt or wherever they're at, uh, under the old King 
you could pray to anybody, huh? Except his image, huh? Of uh, what happened, huh? Old Daniel, huh? He'd get in front of his window, he wasn't ashamed of it, huh? Uh, he'd bow down, huh? Uh, three times a day, huh? And pray to his God, huh? And they went to the king, the up and told him, huh? Uh, well, he sort of regretted, I think, huh? But I ain't saying this is by what I said, I think, huh? Uh, he regretted, huh? Uh, that he made that decree, huh? Uh, because he liked Daniel, huh? Uh, but they said, O oh, king, huh? Uh, you made a decree, huh? Are you going to keep it so he, huh? Uh, therefore, huh? Uh, fell his obligation to throw Daniel, huh? Into a den of rhymes, huh? But uh, now here's some people say about it still, huh? I want to say this right there, huh? Uh, there's a difference, huh? Uh, between a lion's den and a den of rhymes, huh? Uh, it could be a lion's den and no lions in it, huh? Uh, but if it's a den of lions, they're in there, huh? Uh, but that old king told Daniel in there, huh? Uh, because, huh? He knelt down and prayed to God, huh? Uh, what happened, huh? Uh, that old king got trouble. He went early the next morning, huh? Up to the mouth of that den of lions, huh? He said, oh, Daniel. You all right? Oh, Daniel. Daniel said, yes, King. Uh, I just laid down and slept on the line. Uh, I want to use it for a pillar. Uh, uh, listen, I believe. Uh, uh, I want to say for certain, but it seems like reading. Uh, uh, the old king had the one stowed in there uh, uh, to that end of line to just put Daniel in there. Uh, oh, okay, please. To stand, huh, uh, for God, huh, uh, well, let me ask you this, huh, I'm not going to ask you to give an answer, huh, uh, but if somebody, huh, uh, come through that back door, huh, uh, with a submachine gun, huh, and said if you don't deny Christ, huh, uh, we're going to kill you, huh, how many folks I'm going to ask you, huh, uh, would get up and put the age in the house, Give their life for Christ. Listen, let me tell you something. Man can destroy the body. He cannot touch this soul that's in here. Amen. Folks, I've got some, but I'm not afraid of man. I, I realize he can kill me. But I said this, huh? If God gives me a message, I'll deliver it, don't matter. Uh, uh, folks, if they take me to jail, if they kill me, uh, it just be a quick way home, Brother Jerry. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, God's through with the message now. Uh, uh, he might have been scattered, uh, uh, but that's what God made on my heart. I encourage you to stand for God. Hell is surely going to be worth it all. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. Now, folks, if you live long enough, we're going to be put to the test. If we stand for God, it may cost us our life. It may talk to, cost us being thrown in prison. But what awaits on the other side? Amen. What's awaiting? Bless him, Lord. I'll share this with you. Now, it's not the message of God's through with that. Brother Junior Key, he was pastor of many folks back the church. And I have to be down there visiting that. He got up. He said, Church, he said, I almost laid the book down for coming on. He said, The devil got short of me as I was passing these houses, my homes, my automobile, big boats in the yard. He said, The devil was really working on me. He said, I just almost laid it down. He said, God spoke to me. He said, look what's waiting for you. Yeah. Look what's waiting on me. Yeah. Don't you think about that? Yeah. The Bible even talks about the earth. I believe God. Well, he knows the best for a person. I started to mess up. I started to say God thinks more of you, but he knows the best for a person. But I believe he really appreciates the poor people that depend on him. Like I said, I've been through a lot. I know what a man had. I tell you a lot of experiences God brought me through. I mean, I literally, the devil's tried to kill me. Folks, <clears throat> I've had my heart to quit. I had to help with the Bible. I was in the Bethlehem Baptist Church. One time, I knew a word. The pastor asked me, and I said, I've already got the answer. He's going to pray about it. I said, I've already got the answer. He's going to battle the Bible. And he said, yep. On a week before that revival 
sailor. I know I was talking to death. I got up and looked by the cash register and I was doing this. The lady was far and she said, what we do, what we do? Somebody said, call 911. Well, she did. I knew I wasn't going to make it when I got there. And I said in my heart, Lord, am I going to die? Somebody said, catch him down on his stone, and he did. I caught that in my hand. I went back to the seat there. I had that sandwich almost paid for before that one got back. Don't tell me God can't do it. Anyway, listen, I heard him real far. Went through that revival. Didn't bother me. Didn't hurt me. Went through that revival. Good revival. Not because of me, but God give a good revival. I got back in that eight truck. I went to Alabama, got a little over age. I couldn't even drive the truck. Got out of the truck, couldn't get back in folks. I was hurting so bad. I had to call the lost man to come and get me. Went to the doctor then. He told me the rib was not broke or separated. He said that worse. Right. I do the message. So we turned back over to Brother Dwayne. It was him, Brother Jerry, both my house on. Well, I don't know. Dwayne. I'm just here to worship God, folks. Let him have his way, not mine. Well, we're going to look forward to next Saturday again. I feel really good, Brother Dwayne. My old man, God. Tell the church what you were telling me last night about that uh, research that they did on uh, people that went to church on Saturday and people that went to church on Sunday. Okay. I, I say I've been doing my research. And I read an article. And you know, people of old worship God on the seventh day. Okay, somewhere or another, our brain and our body. Schedule for that. Okay, science have wondered and wondered, done tests and all, trying to find out what's in man's brain. But they have found that people worship God on the seventh day, Saturday. Got along better, was in better health than those of better. Okay, they also done a study on the seventh day Adventist. Said their lifespan. Ten years longer than people worship on Sunday. Now, I didn't write that. I just found that doing research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a good message. Man. Uh, I like it. About the children.
they walk with God. The governors and the government says, Close your churches. And say, okay. Or close. Are they following God? Who are they following? Why, oh, man? Thank you. 